Hey, Jeff, uh, you really are an expert in how to maintain and find balance. You and Alyssa, just incredible at this. Answer this question that we get so often at Loveology. Our family life is out of control. Mm. I mean, we're going to every soccer practice and game, and then we got the plays and we got the piano lessons, and we're just over scheduled. Yeah. What do we do? Yeah. Um, what I would say is, and it's something that me and Alyssa care deeply about and think a lot about and coach a lot of families in. One, you know, it, it, when I only have a couple of minutes, one thing I would say that I think is just the paramount is one word, and that's rhythm. You have to, in most people who are overwhelmed or their families are burning out, it's because at the end of the day, their lives and their families are out of rhythm. They're out of sync. And there should be a level, and, and just like the music metaphor that rhythm has, there should be a level at which you're weak. So think about your life not in a day, and don't think about your life in a year or whatever. Think about it in a series of seven days. That's a very, very strong tool that I think we have at our disposal. That by the way, I talked about in my book, multiple cultures have tried to change the seven day week, French Revolution, Communist Russia, five day week, 10 day week, and it crashes and burns, even less or more, it crashes and burns. We are built for a seven day rhythm of working and resting. And then on top of that, I think also stepping into trying to think of your week like music. That I want this, I want every day to sing. I want every day to connect and kind of go at this rhythmic pace. You can still do a lot of activity in that. That doesn't mean that you're not ambitious. That doesn't mean you're not, but it should, it should, it should kind of dance and it should kind of sing. And if you feel like the music is just screeching, well, then you need to pause and you need to look at that week and say, ah, you know, I love all the things we're doing, but maybe this one thing is, you know, killing us or it's playing, you know, it's, it's out of sync, it's out of rhythm. So we're going to take that out and we're going to adjust and we're going to see how it goes. But I'd love to hear what you would say to that of just when a family is doing a lot of things, how do you maintain that semblance of balance? I love that, that you're talking about that rhythm because, and the seven day thing, we, we really do need that Sabbath. Yep. We need a Shabbat. Yep. We need that time, right? Where we can just regroup, turn everything yep. off and let our souls catch up. And that includes little ones, right? We off, often think it's, oh, it's only impacting adults, but the little ones need that as well. Yeah. You guys are so intentional with your your little family that is, it's, and I love watching it. Leslie and I <laughs> marvel at how you guys do this. And you have techniques, like you have you have stuff up on in your kitchen, like a board. Talk yeah, yeah. briefly about that. What is that all about? Well, I think it gets to, you know, it's funny is we, a lot of us will sacrifice for a lot of things, but we don't tend to sacrifice our time for our family when other time wants it. Meaning if we have like a family yeah. dinner planned, but then something better comes along, we will cancel, you know, like we'll say, oh yeah, or, you know, yeah, you can go to that football game or yeah, I got this work thing. And so we say like, you don't have to hold family, family time sacred 24 seven, but is there blocks that are, is there blocks that are? And so one of those ways that we do that and beating that drum is we kind of just encourage our family, our, our kids with these values that are hung up in our kitchen. And we say, if we hold to these and we kind of operate in that rhythmically, it'll start to lead to peace. That's beautiful. Jeff, thanks as always.